Hello, welcome back to this uh, new video. Today we'll talk about uh, Red Dot OpenStack Platform 17.1, uh, our deployment review. We'll uh, show you how you deploy uh, uh, this uh, new uh, version of OpenStack uh, powered by uh, Red Hat team. And uh, we'll also show, show you the different components used for this deployment. Okay. So first of all, we'll talk about the architecture that we will use during uh, this video. Here I have uh, my physical node, okay? Physical node has been virtualized uh, uh, over an uh, Ubuntu uh, operating system. So I use uh, a physical machine and I virtualize it uh, with uh, Ubuntu uh, operating system. And uh, over this one, I have deployed the KVM, okay? After this KVM deployed, I have deployed uh, deployed the different virtual uh, machine which will became, became, uh, will become my uh, different uh, uh, OpenStack uh, nodes okay so I will have a director compute the different compute node uh, controllers uh, okay and uh, we have also the utility node okay which will be used for DNS NTP and also NFS uh, backend storage it's not a pure user but uh, you can imagine it okay so regarding the architecture we have here, the director okay, will be connected uh, through the provisioning uh, network. And uh, on this provisioning network, we will have uh, the controller's nodes, okay, three co controller nodes. And uh, we also have uh, the different uh, compute nodes connected to this pro provisioning uh, network. Okay. And uh, for the external access, so we have uh, the controller, the controllers to be connected to this network also. Okay. And uh, from there, we will be able to reach out the internet. So that uh, the, the network reference architecture that we use uh, for this uh, during our deployment. Okay. And uh, regarding the backend storage, it will be uh, uh, done through the NFS. Okay. And uh, this NFS, this node where we have uh, the NFS, we have also the it's called you recall it of uh, the utility node. Okay, this utility node uh, will have uh, the NFS uh, backend storage deployed on it, and also we have uh, the NF the NTP and also DNS. Okay, so this is all for this uh, reference architecture. So let's go back to the, let's go to the practice. Okay, demo. So here we have um, uh, the, the web interface, okay, of our platform. Let's connect on it. As we can see here, we have the, the interface of, uh, of the infrastructure, okay, our uh, web interface. Right now, I have already deployed some more uh, instances, okay, two instances, one instance, Cyrus instance, and another one based on the Red Data 9.2, okay, so well, both has been deployed, and as you can see, one have a floating IP, okay, as you can see here, and this floating IP will permit this node to be reached from the external uh, part of the, uh, our infrastructure, and uh, regarding the internal IPs, we have uh, both both receive of the internet IP. So let's let's go on within this uh, this one for instance. Just prove you that it is able you are able to reach uh, the internet from the our from our infrastructure. Okay, let's ping it. I will ping off for instance of the IP of Google. Okay, let's do that. And uh, the IP is uh, okay. Let me do that. Ping. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, that means that we can reach uh, the uh, from the, our infrastructure. We can reach uh, outside that box. Okay. That that uh, things is going well. And let's do another things. I will uh, do the live migration also. Let's do a live migration now, and uh, just show you that just to show you that our uh, infrastructure that we deploy is uh, working very well. And uh, for the live migration, uh, let's go here. I will uh, move uh, this uh, Cyrus node from this uh, uh, compute node to the uh, second compute node. Okay, let's do that live migration right now. And uh, let's do that right now. And let's see what happened. One moment. 
migration ongoing. Et voilà. So now the, 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 this uh, uh, instance has been moved to the, uh, the second uh, compute node. Okay, that's great. Let's review the, our platform. Right now we have over. Uh, we have two compute nodes, as you can see here. We have two compute nodes, and uh, regarding the characteristics, you can view or review. We can view those characteristics here. Uh, we have created some flavors. Okay, no big deal there. As you can see, regarding the networks, we have our two uh, networks right now, just for the testing purpose. We have uh, one internal network and uh, another external network. This, this external network has been, uh, we call it a provider network. Let me, let's review the uh, characteristics. As you can see that it is a VLAN type network, okay? And uh, the VLAN ID has been designed to permit her to reach out to others. Uh, any node which is uh, outside our of our side of our infrastructure. Here we go. So after that, uh, as you can see here, that whole. Let's go back on the on the different components, uh, the, the different virtual components that permit us to to build our infrastructure. I will uh, let me show you. I have a, a here. I have my uh, wish list. Okay, as you can see, we have the director node right now. Okay, and we have the compute node, which is virtual, which are virtual machine right now. We have a controller node uh, one, three, and uh, two, as you can see. Okay, we compute two, uh, we control uh, two, two, okay. So all those nodes are there right now on my physical uh, machine that has been virtualized to permit me to uh, deploy my infrastructure. And here we have the utility node where I deploy the NTP, DNS, and also, uh, let me just increase uh, this one, uh, change uh, appearance. Uh, Yeah, there we go. So as you can see here, this node we have the NTP, DNS, and also NFS. Okay, right now, and uh, my director will be my under where I will have my under cloud uh, environment, and those one compute controller, okay, and computer, all those ones will be uh, the different component of my uh, over cloud, okay, infrastructure right now. So let me go. Let me connect on this uh, director node. Let me, I have already on uh, the interface. Yes, right now, as you can see here on this uh, director one, for instance, okay, this is the director node. I can view, you can, as you can see, let me just uh, change of your appearance uh, very fastly. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. Yeah, okay, great. So. As you can see, uh, I can say if I can, I want to list all the, the different nodes that are on my oh, too big. Uh, too big. Uh, let me go back. Uh, yeah. The view. Yeah. Okay. I think that will be better. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, I have uh, five. Uh, Five nodes that should be uh, the different node on my overclock okay infrastructure. I have a controller, okay, and the IP address are those one okay or, or the different uh, uh, nodes. I can connect on this one from my undercloud node, okay. Can try pro. Uh, admin, yeah. Let me go for instance uh, from the computer one. Let's yeah, let me go there. Okay, as you can see, I'm there, and uh, let me see something. Okay, okay, IP, IP, uh, net, and this. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so I have one more. Uh, so right now I'm on Versa. Compute one node, okay, from this one. I have only one namespace, so which will be, uh, which will be the namespace of my, uh, of my, uh, uh, of my uh, internal load subnet. Okay, this one. Let me show you this. Let me go over here. We have this network right now. The internal zero. Okay, uh, subnet. This one. Okay. So this subnet has been uh, deployed in my infrastructure, okay, and uh, this one has been uh, 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 is currently on the provider uh, compute node one, okay, right now. So, uh, so from there, I can uh, I can I will be able to ping the different uh, nodes which are a part of the of this network, okay. So let's say I want to ping the Instance, for instance, oh, I will for instance this one. For instance, I want to ping it right now, and uh, the first I can check, I can confirm that it is a. Uh, as you can see, it is a part of my network, okay, the internal zero net, uh, subnet right now. So I can uh, ping uh, any node which is uh, inside of this. Uh, this one, I will ping this one, for instance. It's possible right now. Okay, I can try uh, to, to connect. Let me go, uh, I will go within this instance. And uh, bash. Uh, Okay, so from there, I'm in the namespace. I'm in the namespace. I can ping it. I can try also to connect on it. SSH or Cirrus. Uh, Cirrus at um, the IP address. Yeah. Ah. Okay. It's it's not wo working. So that means that ah. Uh, I think that the real the rules. And I have to update the rules right now. The security group. Yeah, I will. I will have the SSH. Mm, where are you? Yeah. So let's do that right now, very rapidly. And let me try again. Yeah. As you can see, it's now okay. I can. Uh, Okay, let is go cubes. Okay, yeah, okay. Up here, I'm there. I can I can ping a uh, external uh, node if I want. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. So as you can see, uh, the testing uh, is uh, okay, very good. That means that my infrastructure is uh, is working right now, and uh, everything uh, is working. So if you you're interested by this kind of lab environment, because as you can see, let me show you, it is uh, a, on my uh, on the lab environment that has been powered by your AC intelligence. If you need this kind of environment to deploy uh, your your you're on live to review the OpenStack or how OpenStack works and so on. You can let us know and we'll be very proud to, to help you in this way. And also, if you in your company we have any issues or any issues or you need some support for your OpenStack environment, please feel free to let us know and send us a a little just drop us an email, okay? And we'll be very proud to uh, to help you. Okay, so thank you very much and hope that you appreciate this uh, moment and uh, let us know if you have any question. Uh, take care and bye from now on.